Hi, my name is Shabana Azmi. I'm an actress from India, and I'm delighted to be playing Aisha, the matriarch of the Asian family, in Jemima Khan and Shekhar Kapoor's What's Love Got to Do With It Anyway? Uh, uh, thank you, Shabana. And I am Jemima Khan. Uh, I wrote the film and I uh, produced it along with a lot of other uh, producers. Hi, my name is Sajal Ali. And first of all, I'm very nervous because I'm sharing the sofa with the legend Shabana Azmi. She's my favorite and I am just, I don't know what to say, but okay, I'll tell you a little bit, little bit of my character. I'm somebody, my character name is uh, Memuna, and I think that she is representing a lot of thousands of Pakistani girls, South Asian girls, and she, I think definitely she will give strength to all of them. Well, I lived in Pakistan for 10 years uh, from the age of 20 to 30, so I sort of feel like I grew up there. And even though you know, films are obviously a collaboration of vision. So by the end, and what you see on screen is obviously has gone through a process and there's lots of different people who've interpreted it and put their own kind of vision on it from the actors to the editor to the, obviously the director, etc. But the very, very start, um, I had wanted to, first of all, make a film that was, um, that showed Pakistan in a, uh, more colorful and hospitable and positive light than perhaps we usually see on our screens in the West. It was very much a kind of lament of friends of mine in Lahore when I lived there that the only films that win awards in the West are the ones that denigrate their country and why can't there be films that celebrate Pakistan? So I have enormous affection for a country that I essentially grew up in and I wanted to celebrate Pakistanis and Pakistan and so that was a starting point and then the other um, then the actual kind of genesis was that I, I, I when I was in Pakistan I, so I guess I went there with the sort of preconceptions that a lot of people in the West have about arranged marriages and I was the only love marriage they call it they call it in Pakistan in my ex-husband's entire family uh, and we were the only divorce and I saw a lot of very very successful arranged marriages and they evolved into this thing called which they I always heard called assisted marriage where the parents would introduce you to someone suitable and the children would get to know them and then they would um, decide whether to move forward or not and I even got involved in arranging a couple of marriages, and I watched um, my ex-husband's niece, whose house we live, we live, all lived together in one big extended family household. And I watched her go from a teenager to getting having an arranged marriage, and very successfully and happily. And um, that's not to say that there isn't a big difference with a forced marriage and the unhappy examples. But I'm talking about the um, the the majority, which are which are done consensually and are therefore happy or often happy. And when I came back to England, I was in my 30s and it kind of started as a joke with my girlfriends who were sort of thinking about having children and struggling to find, um, you know, available, appropriate, non-commitment phobic men uh, to settle with and were struggling a bit. And so I'd sort of blithely say, oh, I'll arrange it. Or we'd have this kind of, we'd have a conversation about if your parents were sane enough and could agree, which mine definitely weren't, who would they have picked for you and would it have worked or have we just been destroyed by rom-coms? And that was kind of the point at which I went, actually, maybe I could write a film about that. And that was about 3,000 years ago in the Jurassic era and it's finally on screen. <laughs> but you know, on the aside, were you successful in your attempts at matchmaking? Yes, yeah. thank you very much. Very. Oh, but you're very lucky because... This is my passion, okay? And when I try to get two people together, they hate each other on <laughs> sight. Oh so, I mean, this is one of my laments. So I really envy you that. <laughs> no, the thing is that I come from a very progressive uh, family and there was no question of ever having anybody having an arranged marriage in the family. But I am not dismissive of it at all because I've seen it working. And, of course, it did surprise me a lot. But I 
do think that there is some virtue in parents understanding that having similar backgrounds, particularly similar cultural backgrounds, is, is a very strong base to put something together. And like in her, in our film, we say that we uh, walk into marriage and then fall into love. You see, that's the better way instead of saying that, oh, you first fall in love and then you say, oh God, now how do you, how does one settle down with uh, marriage? So although I do think that it is a definite big cultural difference between the West and the East, um, I don't think you can dismiss either of them. But if you can create the space for the West to understand that uh, it's not all medieval to have assisted marriages, you know, and that's, I think, what you get from the film, which is its strength and its warmth. Mm -hmm. Sanjeev, do you have anything to add? Well, I think it's, for me, it's too early to say anything about <laughs> arrange or love, uh, but I, I just feel like, uh, I just believe in love marriages. I just believe in love. I just feel, and, and anyway, sh wedding, shadi is just a risk. Be it arrange or love. <laughs> that's all I can say. Firstly, to have the Emma Thompson on on the set and being my best friend in the film was just so overwhelming for me. And she's so lovely. I mean, apart from being such a wonderful actor, she is a very warm, very giving, very and a lot of fun on the set. Wouldn't you agree, yeah, Sajal? Yeah. She was absolutely just wonderful. And also for me, Shekhar and I worked together 40 years ago, you know, we uh, we did film as co-actors and then he directed me in his first film. I've known him for many years. And so it was very rewarding for me to see that we were coming back after so long and it didn't seem like there had been a gap at all. But the, the, I must say that the reason I jumped at the film is because Shaker rang me up and said, listen, this is a very good script and that I must give to Jemima, that the base of it is a very good script. And I think to have somebody like Shekhar is really kupte etat because he understands both cultures and he's not judgmental. And I think that's the strength of the film, that it's not judgmental. I learned so much, it'd be hard to even put into a, a soundbite because it was from zero to 100. Um, but I, I felt really grateful to be allowed to be part of the whole process from start to finish and to work with these incredible talents. So, I mean, I, I uh, yeah, it was, it was a real uh, privilege for me. In the Indian film industry, yes, there's, a, there's been a huge change. There are strong roles coming for uh, women, you know, in the 60s, we had a film, I Will Remain Silent, being considered a virtue for a film. Today, it's unimaginable that any girl would agree to do something uh, like that. But I also think that the most important thing that is happening in the world today is Asian actors have been talking about colorblind casting forever. And that is finally coming to be. So that for me is very rewarding that there are roles for older uh, people, roles for women, and then finally colorblind casting, which is our due, I think, is finally being accepted. So I do think that the world in cinema is changing. Yeah, I think I agree with I agree with Shabana and with you that that it is the dial is definitely shifting. I mean, we're still working really hard uh, with the films, but yes, in the drama side, I think uh, we as like girls and females, we're leading. The, the drama side in Pakistan. You know, I believe that uh, art, but particularly cinema, has the ability to create a climate of sensitivity in which it is possible for change to occur. And I think it's fabulous that uh, the Saudi Arabia is opening up like that and putting their everything behind uh, a film festival. And they're doing it with a view that really we need inclusivity. Because if cinema doesn't promote inclusivity, then what does it uh, do? And I think this attempt is very laudable. And when I was invited here, I just jumped at the chance because I was so fascinated and I wanted to see for myself what it is. They're all working very hard. I'm very grateful for being here. And I really, really wish them all, all all, the best because, I mean, I'm not being patronizing about it, but it's only their second uh, uh, festival. And uh, I think there's 
there's lots of good that will come out of it because I don't think it will uh, vest only with the festival, but also open up the doors to create a film industry uh, here. I think it's a peg to create a film industry, and that's fab. I think it's really important to bring art and culture to a country where, as you mentioned five years ago, cinema going was actually illegal, women couldn't drive, and now there's a flourishing cinema going uh, um, population. And hopefully the love of film will only increase here. And I, like Shabana, believe that art and culture brings people together and is very, very important. Um, there is obviously um, a debate to be had about the other more problematic issues, but I don't think that that concerns art and culture. Um, and I mean, it would be disingenuous of me not to uh, not to add that I have been critical of the Saudi regime in the past and about their human rights abuses. Um, but I really believe there have been huge changes in the last five years, and I really hope that that continues. Yeah, I just feel really, really grateful to be here. You know, for me, it's everything is just new. I never thought that I'll ever be, you know, sharing the screen with, with the legends and such such amazing people. And will be directing by, being directed by Shekhar Kapoor is just like, for me, it's just like a miracle, you know. So just, you know, um, uh, being here and representing Pakistan through being part of this film is just amazing.